her back. I guess we had one hour. I am kind of surprised I have so much done in one hour. I don't know if I'm gonna show the whole thing. You guys kind of get the idea, but it's fun chatting. Artist life can be a lonely life. So I want to focus on this. Oops. Getting these lines semi straight. I'll get these shadows in a little more on the table. I'm kind of liking this though. Just add a little bit. So anyone that's been watching knows that I've been doing almost everything with these two brushes so far. It's a three quarter and a one inch flat. This one is Utrecht. I don't know about this one because I wore it completely off. <laughs> They've lasted me quite a while. splashes up here. I do want to add a slight bit of detail to the onion. I have to be really careful because the values are so light and subtle. Shell Ross. Okay. Uh, I hope I hope you're right. I feel a lot more confident now explaining my process, but and I love helping people. It it brings me a lot of joy to be able to share my knowledge. So it might be a good fit. I'm adding these really bright highlights right now. 
and the highlights are changing color because I have two light sources right now. I have the cool daylight and then I have this really warm lamp. So here's the cool highlights. These are the warmer ones. And you don't want the values of all the highlights to be the same. I want to push these back a little bit. Oh, <laughs> my fancy headphones. I like all these shapes in the reflection. Caroline, that is a huge compliment. I really appreciate it. I want to get a little bit of these details in the carrot because I feel like on their own they're nice but they're a little plain. And these stripes will help kind of define the form a little bit. It gives it a little bit of character. I want to be careful to not evenly space everything though. And I want the values to be pretty dark. I don't want them standing out. Just little hints. <laughs> Thank you, Sunny Lab. It's just lots of practice. Including right now, it's all practice. There's some lighter spots that I left here on accident. I want to cover them up because if there's these really high contrasty spots, it's going to be distracting. Carrot is also a little bit darker. Which medium do I find the most difficult to work with? That is a good question. 
I have been using pretty much gouache strictly for a while. Um, I do want to get back into oils, but I kind of want to, I still have a lot to learn in gouache. But the toughest for me has been transparent watercolor. But after watching some demonstrations with that, it's coming together a little easier and I'm learning that there's more than one approach. Because back in college, you know, we always preserved the whites and it was a very slow process. But I'm learning that you can be a little more free with it. So I might get back, or er, experiment with transparent watercolors a bit. Agree. I learned a lot, but I actually didn't learn a lot about uh, or anything about gouache in college. I had no idea what it even was. But that might not be their fault. That might be my own. They might have said something and I just wasn't paying attention. So I can't really blame them. some of this a little bit. Give it a little more form. I know I'm kind of covering up those lines that I did, but I don't I don't mind. They'll still come out. That's what gouache does. So I am working a little transparently right now, almost like using glazes.
tell it I am starting to focus a little more, I get kind of quiet. But feel free to ask any questions, it doesn't bother me. Sorry, I'm totally in the frame. I just realized that. I'll try to stay out of the way. So there's a green tag here which I purposely moved to kind of lead the composition or lead into it a little better. shadows, some darker spots. Our chickens love these carrot tops. gonna shut the live stream off just so that I can kind of focus and get into the last details but I will be sure to post a picture and I will post the um, the video on my YouTube and yeah I'll show you the still life second. I'm cleaning up my palette a bit. Here's the still life. Took me forever trying to compose this thing. You should see my my camera roll is like a million pictures. I like to take pictures to find good compositions because I take the pictures and then I look at them all again and again to see which one really stands out to me. Here's the my easel, my setup. And then going up close, some little itty bitty details. There's still quite a bit to do on this one, but I, I think I'm pretty happy with it so far. 
probably round this out a little better. But thank you everyone for watching. It was really fun. I will, I might pop in and uh, do a quick live once I'm finished just to give you a final tour. But thank you again.